Hey everyone and welcome to another session on learning Linux. So in the last video I was telling you about the basic commands of Linux and I told you that I'll be uh, sharing a website with you wherein you can go and actually practice it. So let's get into that today. But before we go any further, do subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates. Let's go. So about a month back I uh, found this great website which is overthewire.org and it has some amazing war games in it. Uh, some of them are pretty old. Uh, this one that I tried, the Bandit war game is uh, I think about three or four years old or could be even more. But nevertheless, uh, if you're starting out in Linux, uh, this is a great uh, place to exercise the commands and all. And it gives a great insight of how, what the Linux uh, uh, OS is and how do you operate and how do you guide your way through it. So the game is pretty simple that uh, you begin at level zero and as you go along finding passwords for the next level and the next level, the highest level is level 34. This is where the game ends currently. Uh, I don't know if they are, uh, if the developers are going to bring in the uh, new levels to this. Um, I have not subscribed to the discord or anything yet, but yeah, uh, level 34 is, uh, to reach level 34 is good enough. It will consume two or three days of yours. Um, if you're a beginner or if you're an intermediate, it will take about six to seven hours to you for you. So this is how the game goes that uh, you start with the level, uh, an initial password of level zero is provided. You can obviously look up man pages for different commands. You can go to their Discord channel. You can uh, even log into their ISC's chat room and uh, or you can just search through Google for the next command. So what I'll do is I'll guide you through the first five levels and uh, after that, you will pretty much understand what the game is all about. So here it goes. Let's start with level zero. It says that uh, the initial goal is to log into the SSH and uh, we need to connect to bandit.labs.overthewire.org. Uh, we need to connect it through SSH and port is triple two zero. The username is bandit zero and the password is bandit zero. Once we are logged into this, we need to go to level one page and find out how we can beat the level one. Okay, perfect. So let me open up my terminal screen and let's do this. Let's copy this from here. Um, let's copy this uh, on the terminal screen. Let's do SSH bandit zero, which is the username, the server. And since the port is triple two zero, we specify the port number here. If you're logging in through Windows, you can use software like Putty or uh, you can even use Solar Putty or you can use Mobaxterm or any other SSH software that you feel comfortable with. Uh, let's go in. Okay, so we accept the key. Now we enter the password. Okay, so we are in. So let's see our instructions further. So it says that to the password for the next level is stored in a file called readme. Look at it in the home directory. Use this password to log into bandit1. So, okay. So let's list the files that are there. And yes, there is a readme file and we can read the file through cat command. So cat readme and we have the password for the next level. At this juncture, I would also like to tell you uh, a mistake that I did was that I initially started this and uh, I reached to level 20 and then just switched off the terminal screen and obviously the password cannot I cannot remember it so I had to restart it so at this point it is good that if you start saving the passwords here on a notepad or uh, the text editor whatever is there in your computer and uh, yeah so in case you are coming back later and you don't want to continue any further, you can do it later. So let's open a fresh window here, or we can exit this. And what we'll do is we'll SSH into bandit one now, and we'll use the password that we got from the last level and enter here. Perfect, we are in bandit one now, so let's go to level two. So this says the password for the next level is stored in a file called dash, a symbol, located in the home directory, okay? So let's list the home directory and yes, uh, there is a file dash. So let's scat that. Mm, nothing is happening. So way to go around this is we can cat, we can go into the 
current directory here live dot slash in the current directory and and then we enter the file name dash and yes that works so in case you had encountered with such a kind of file name um, the best way to escape that is use a dot slash a forward slash with this uh, you can uh, read the file so let's store this somewhere on that text and let's exit this terminal and let's open the terminal for bandit 2 let's enter the password that we got and we are in so let's go to the next level level 3 so for level 3 the password for the next level is stored in a file called spaces space in space this space file name okay uh, so let's see ls hyphen l and yes there is a file name by that name so if we were to do like this cat spaces in this file name uh, cat actually tried to read four different files spaces in this file name all separately this is because the space in the file name is actually a part of the file name and not a command but cat is using it as a command to escape this what we can do is we can use backslash so if we were to use black slash this will read it as a single file name rather than reading it as a command so yeah we got the password so let's copy this into our notepad once again this is the password for bandit 3 and in our terminal let's exit this and let's go into bandit 3 perfect we are in bandit 3 now let's read the instructions further so the instruction says that the password for the next level is stored in a hidden file in the in here directory it's a hidden file okay so it's an in here directory let's still list okay there is an in here directory so let's enter that and uh, let's list so okay there is nothing here um, to list the hidden files and directories we need to use a command ls only but with the tag a so let's use tag a and yes there is a file name hidden here so let's cut that file name hidden yep we got the password let's store it again somewhere so this is for bandit 4 and let's exit this and let's enter bandit 4 now okay we are in bandit 4 let's read the instructions now for bandit 4 so that we can reach bandit 5 so it says that the password for the next level is stored in the only human readable file in here directory tip if your terminal is messed up try the reset command okay what does it mean let's see uh, let's list and there is an in here directory for sure so let's list what's in the directory okay so now there are multiple files here at this juncture we have two ways to go about it one we can do cat and if you remember there's a dash in front so we need to use dot slash here file zero zero okay so that's not human readable so now i have to go through each of the file manually or what i can do is i can just script it and list all the files here so let's create a simple bash script first let's list uh, the files again and what we want to do here is we want to iterate through each of these files so what is common is that dash file zero is common in all the files that are listed here the last integer is zero one two three four five six seven eight nine so it's a sequential uh, thing going on so we can create a for loop to iterate through each of these uh, files so let's create it for i in uh, integer 0 to 9 uh, let's do an echo that will just print on the screen so this is file name hyphen file 0 and then that integer value so next what we are going to do is we're going to capture or we're going to print that file so file zero dollar i once that is done we are done so it is what the script is going to uh, do is that it is going to iterate through 
integers 0 to 9 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and as it is doing so uh, we have uh, looped in a command which is cat file 0 dollar i so every time the script goes through this uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 uh, it's gonna print the file 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 of these above listed files so let's check if it works oh yes okay this definitely works but let's uh, do little modification here just before the done let's echo a, a blank string and this will just create a new line for every time it prints and goes to the next iteration so let's see what it goes okay this is much better so now we can scroll through all the files file 00 is garbage file 01 is again not readable 02 03 04 05 06 07 seems interesting this seems like something we can use so let's save this uh, in our text here and uh, let's log into the next bandit that's bandit 5 let's look at the last instructions here so this time around it says that the password for the next level is stored in a file somewhere under the in here directory and has all the following properties that is it is human readable file 103 byte 1033 bytes in size and not executable okay so let's list the directory structure let's go in the in here and let's list the directory structure in here okay so if I were to check each of these directories one by one let's see what would happen okay so each of the directories have files and then there are more files in each of these directories in there okay it is not humanly possible to it is possible but it will take a lot of time for me to iterate through each of these files even through script so I think there is a better way to go about it or what we can use here is the find command so let's search for certain things in find command and open the manual and what I want to see is what's the readable how can we find readable so let's search that you can use forward slash and then enter the text that you want to search tag readable matches file which are readable perfect so now we can search through this specific tag for the readable let's see if there is something more we can find for readable it gives an example which says search for files which are executable but not readable okay uh, we're looking for the opposite one so we are looking for something readable but not executable the executable tag we can use for the last bit and interestingly we can use backward slash and exclamation mark for marking it not okay this was good so let's uh, go back to the first page and let's search for size now okay so we can use the tag size and uh, if for bytes like in this case we can use C so it will be used as size the number of bytes and then immediately preceded with C perfect okay so we can create the command now so we want to find in this folder file so we can mark this with the type f which is for type files we are looking for a file which is readable uh, has 1033 bytes in size so size is 1033 c but not executable executable so let's run this command okay so we found a file which is located in maybe here 07 directory the file name is dot file 2 which is in hidden file so let's just copy this and let's get it perfect we got the password for the next level let's store this password so there you go as you go along this levels in the bandit war game it's gonna get difficult it's going to get more tougher you'll be faced with newer challenge every time and it's a great way to uh, learn Linux. It is a great way to uh, work on Linux command shell. So if you want, you can go through it. It will be a very, very good challenge to uh, take up. And what I would recommend is that you use Google, you use man a lot, especially the man command. Uh, it will give you great insights 
as if you can see below also all the commands that you can use to complete this level are listed here so you have already been given a lot of hints of how to solve this and this is a great stepping stone for entering Linux or if you're already in Linux but you have been doing only a uh, minimal work uh, this is a great way to learn so do let me know in the comment section below of what do you think about this war game and uh, what do you think about this video in general i would love to hear your comments if you find this video good please do like it and do subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates until the next video